What you are about to see is real. All video and audio was captured in an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. Episode of Local Haunts, Steve and Pamela and the spooky crew head to downtown Jacksonville to investigate 927 events. This event space resides in a restored historic building near the old train station that is now the Prime Osborne Convention Center. 927 events is modernized and full of beauty and art. But does the building have a darker side? Find out as we explore Local Haunts. Hello and welcome to Local Haunts. I'm your host, Steve Christian. Joining me as usual in this investigation is my co-host, Pamela Teresa, medium in the raw, along with the spooky group, Savannah Huffingham, Luke Lurcher, and Kevin Remington. Tonight, we double dip at the same location, 927 Events. Not only are we investigating the location for paranormal activity, but Pamela Teresa also hosted a Medium in the Raw live event in this beautiful building. As our investigation was getting underway, Pamela Teresa decided to broadcast live to our Facebook fans to include them on the investigation. Live, three, two, one. Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I am live on location. We are shooting for our local haunts show. Right back here behind me, if you can see, we have the spooky crew. So, we are fixing to shoot an episode which you will see air on CW17. So tell us about what we're doing here. Investigation for local haunts, by the way. Uh-huh. And we got the cameras going. Yep, okay. and Kevin and Spook. Kevin and spooky crew is activated. It's over there. Looking at a wall. Did you say that's that's right. Did you tell me where we are? No. Yeah, we're in a secret location. It's <laughs> super, uber, duper secret. That's right. So, we'll, we'll take you, we'll take you tomorrow. Okay. This right here, Ruby can see it. Put your light on it. Yep, try it. Am I? Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. There we go. There you go. Tell people what that is, babe. This is our digital audio recorder. We'll be using this to record EVPs, <clears throat> and uh, we'll be playing back live EVPs for our investigation. Uh, if you're familiar with Local Haunts, you know that we do that a lot. I'm not the camera girl. Not so much, we got a crew over there. PDP says live on Facebook. Hey, everybody. If you have a question you want me to ask our earthbound spirits, ask away. We are live on location shooting for local haunts. Um, season premiere uh, episode uh, that will air on CW17 August 5th. We'll do it again. Now you that can happens. you can hear Two the years. AC in the background, okay? So that's why we'll be turning the AC off. Let's do it again, baby. I heard some clicks, and that's another thing. Tell them about the clicks that you hear. Sometimes what your EVPs aren't necessarily voices, but sometimes they're clicks and pops and uh, just things that you did not hear while you're recording that you would hear on, on playback. That's electronic voice phenomenon. Okay, we're recording right now. Yeah, we're going to have a spooky, spooky time tonight. Anyway, I'll probably pop on live after and let you know, or maybe I'll pop in when we're doing a little more EVP when it gets dark, I, you know, lights out, so pay attention. You might see me popping on live. Anyway, love y'all, and I'll see you in a little bit. Coming up on Local Haunts, amazing evidence of paranormal activity. It's going to be this whole thing where we can just, who needs to look for them? We just know where they are and follow them around with these things. Here. All rounds exist.
As soon as the cameras started rolling for the investigation, Pamela Teresa found the first earthbound spirit of the night. <laughs> Having the country's best spiritual medium on the local haunts team is immeasurable. Pamela Teresa sees spirit as easily as we see each other. Um, well, come out with your hands. She has proved this time and time again, and this time was no exception. She is holding a K2 meter, which as you know, keys on electromagnetic fields. Spirits can be detected using K2 meters as well, especially if you know exactly where they are. Fairly. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I think what you did. Oh my God, yeah. The equipment we use on local haunts validates Pamela, and Pamela validates the equipment. This technique has been shown to be foolproof, but there is always our own senses to validate as well. I could feel the spirit sitting in this chair. Here's what is so remarkable about this video. Pamela knew there was an earthbound spirit sitting in the chair because she can clearly see him sitting there. She walked over with the K2 meter and placed it over the chair and it started pegging. This wasn't random chance. She knew he was there and the equipment validated it. And when I put my hand into where he was sitting, there was a static tingle that traveled all the way up to my elbow, a very strong sensation that also validates Pamela and the equipment. That's a strong tingle. Man. Anybody else want to get? Let's see. All right, we stand right there. Come over here. Here, walk over to here. Touch this. Come there touch this. This is your toy now. Come on. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, over here. Like I'm touching it. Come. Savannah might hurt you with that one. Go into the heavy D. Go to the lid. <laughs> Chasing him. Come on. Sit down. I'm going to move to the left and you can move with me. Over to. Oh, it kind of looped. Hmm. It's never gets old for me when you can just. Who needs to look for them? You just know where they are and follow them around with these things. Spirit. All rounds exist. So, uh, okay, where it stopped, now come make it move again. I'm gonna call you Fred. So I should call him Fred. No, Fred. <clears throat> you Fred? Touch, touch. The next one's Barney. You okay. can put your hand through it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank there you. you go. Come again. Put your hand through it. Thanks, Fred. Okay. 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 So yes, it kind of is a game to prove that you're here, prove that I'm here, that you're communicating with me. So put your hand, you know, touch it. See if you can knock it um, out of my hand. Come on. Try again. Okay, so we have a lot of patience. Y'all can come over here too. This is an um, interesting instrument. Y'all have fun with it. Y'all can come over here too. This is an um, interesting instrument. Y'all have fun with it. Y'all can come over here too. This is an um, interesting instrument. Y'all have fun with it. Y'all can come over here too. This is an um, Interesting instrument. Y'all have fun with it. Y'all can come over here too. This is um interesting instrument. Y'all have fun with it. You can try to grab it out of my hands if you want, but knock on it. Yes, you are my dog and pony show. <laughs> I can be your dog and pony show too. Coming up on local haunts: amazing evidence of paranormal activity. Just try. Can you hold the button? Yes, hold the button. The flash is down. Oh, dear God. You were to put your hand on top of it like that. Yeah. 
you gotta put it in him. Oh, man, you can feel him holding my hand underneath my hand. Feel him? Mm-hmm. Feel his hand? A little tingle around here. Yeah. Kevin, you want to He's got his hand. I feel it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Like right towards your wrist. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Because he's basically got a grip on me right here. So, okay, so what you got to do is think really hard on how powerful you are. He's getting frustrated. Because he has, he's kind of excited because he has been able to make the light move. Is this the one I'm sitting in the chair? Uh huh. This is Fred? All right, there you go. Now, go ahead and put your hand in again. Move my hand back. Where's he standing right here? Mm -hmm. Validate it. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys are new to us, you can actually feel the presence of spirit. Uh, we're feeling Fred standing right over here. It gets warmer and tingly, and sometimes like a little dampness to it. Yeah. Hard. Just kind of, well, actually, you do. Bang the hell out of it. Bam. Okay, so. Yeah. So we can follow Savannah. Yes, Savannah. Go and do this where you see someone. Just um, go for it. We just caught a Class A EVP. As Pamela was instructing Savannah to take the K2 meter to a spirit that she can see, one of them spoke up and volunteered. Here it is again. Cameras will be on. Cameras will be on. Cameras will be on. <laughs> Follow me. It's all right. It, it's, it takes a lot of spiritual energy um, to go where you see. Savannah has to reach inside. And sometimes this equipment doesn't validate it. Sometimes it does. Here, I'll hold the little buzzer to that way. You can do that at the lip knob. Okay, hold the knob out of from this. I think that was me. See, this right here, uh, I wouldn't say that it's not something that you can use for evidence. That's why it's been in the backpack for a Never. Three long. Hit the button. It does make more fun of a noise, though. Yeah. If only. Just talk to him when he's in. Because it's like Mr. Red, he's cooperating. Right? Or just wear it out. No, he's been paying attention. Yeah, but we didn't particularly explain what we were doing either. Oh, well, why don't you explain it to him? Well. Hey, Fred, that's an electronic uh, magnetic field detector, an EMF detector. And as you are energy, you can manipulate that field around that and make it go off. That's what you're doing. Why really? Just because we're filming for a TV show, just collecting evidence. Uh, oh, that part. <laughs> yeah, that part. Like, uh, but why? <laughs> You're not a TV star. Yeah. If you read our shirts, it says local haunts, and uh, yeah, it's kind of dark in here. See, well, it probably has different vision than we do. I'm sure. Yeah, we're big moms. They've been able to read my hat and shirt in total darkness before. So. Yeah. Um, How you doing this day? We're shadows in his realm. Right. We're haunting him. Yes. <laughs> so that's an interesting point. Mm -hmm. So we don't look like they see us differently than we They either. know we're in different realms. Yeah. So kind of like the others. I mean, that was a perfect movie to really describe um, the ghostly experience, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
say that maybe it's man. No, but I see where that was going. She was a Mexican movies. Makes me paranoid. I started watching The Sixth Sense the other day. But that's not a scary movie. We're gonna have to watch that. I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, come on, that one is good. I Because, you, know, you know, when you do watch the scary movies, it automatically populates underneath your bed and in your closet all that. Of course Tell it everybody is. what is it that populates. <laughs> like, ghouls, goblins, ghosties, all that. <laughs> Coming up on Local Haunts, amazing evidence of paranormal activity. Just try. I'm going to do a group photo. Just hold the button? Yeah, just hold the button. Oh dear God. And you know what we like to sit down too. Right? Because the lazy ass is on the other side of the Oh, some snakes in my head. Where's this thing gonna go? I'm just gonna work. Yeah, I mean, it's a good place to do some ADP. Where's this thing gonna go? I'm just gonna work. Yeah, I mean, it's a good place to do some ADP. Where's this thing gonna go? I'm just gonna work. Yeah, I mean, it's a good place to do some ADP. This EVP validates that Pamela is in tune to the spirit world and can hear them. Watch what she does as he tells her to do something. So, um, what we're here for is for you to tell your story. We're going to share your story. Actually, you're going to share your story. Welcome to 70 minutes, live EVP session. Do you like the light, Fred? Yeah. yeah. Just then we heard voices and banging coming from the third floor. On the third floor of 927 events, there is a private apartment. However, there was no one home at the time of our investigation. So who was walking and talking on the third floor? Unfortunately, we were not granted access to investigate. But we do know that there was no living person up there. Are people upstairs? There's nobody upstairs. So why don't y'all go round them up, because this is where we're going to shoot. Um, send somebody out to round everybody up who's in the building and bring them into the space here. Tell them if they want to be on TV, you need to be at this table. How long have you been in this building? Next time on Local Haunts, Steve and Pamela continue their investigation of 927 events. The stairs are treachery. Is there anything out here, Pam? Yeah. 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 Y
See, I would willingly go into a helicopter, but not freaking death box. And what they find will amaze you.